Nearly one in three people living on the streets of San Diego right now are senior citizens. In fact, older San Diegans are now the fastest growing homeless population countywide. But a new county run program would match seniors on a volunteer basis in shared housing, aiming to reverse that trend. CBS 8's Richard Allen is here with more on how this program would actually work. Richard? Well, that's right, and this homeless problem is just getting worse. In fact, San Diego County saw a 25% increase of people ages 55 and over living on the streets compared to last year. That's according to the last point in time homeless count, and that amounts to more than 2,000 additional senior citizens who are homeless here in San Diego. Now, this innovative concept aims to prevent more older San Diegans from ending up on the streets. I can't think of anything worse than a society that allows their seniors to be put out in the streets. To that end, San Diego's Board of Supervisors voted unanimously to develop a senior shared housing program with the aim of matching willing seniors with available space in their home with other seniors who are in need of housing and in search of a roommate to help lower costs for both while also keeping them securely housed. But it's a win-win. Uh, when you match people together, they both gain. Supervisor Joel Anderson proposed this idea, which he says would not only help prevent more seniors from becoming unsheltered, but also help prevent social isolation. But I think that when you live alone as a senior, you age quicker than when you have people in the house to share uh, thoughts, to share words, to, to share life with. And I think it's a good thing. So it's an issue that's plaguing the entire nation, according to Israel Hernandez of AARP California. So nearly 238,000 older adults are expected to fall into homelessness um, in 2023 in the United States. And looking down to San Diego, 41 percent uh, of San Diego seniors struggle with basic needs. The development of this new shared housing program for seniors comes as the county has also launched a pilot program to provide struggling seniors with a $500 monthly rent subsidy, which Anderson proposed along with Supervisor Tara Lawson Reamer. On Tuesday, Lawson Reamer suggested expanding the senior shared housing concept to allow for multi-generational home shares as well. You know, as a single mom, I could really imagine um, really appreciating uh, finding a senior who wanted to have shared housing. Whether it's with a senior or with somebody younger, matching those people up, preventing homelessness is as important as fixing homelessness. And a framework for this new program will be developed in the next four months or so, which will also focus on developing a system to try to make sure these senior housing matches are as compatible as possible. Jesse and Marcella.